Hello? Sir, the bomb squad is on their way. They say that there is a nuclear bomb in our office. What? Come on, evacuate everyone immediately! What happened? There is a radioactive material in your office. We got to check the premises immediately. This is an emergency. Please evacuate the building I'll explain this to you. Logo, please. On 26 April 1986, a nuclear reactor in Pripyat, Chernobyl exploded. It resulted in the loss of thousands of lives. People who lived in that city were evacuated. It's now been 36 years, but the town of Pripyat is still unfit to live in. It's because of nuclear radiation that's still present in and around the reactor. When the nuclear reactor at Chernobyl exploded, it didn't just release fire and a shockwave, but it released enormous amounts of nuclear radiation. The nucleus of the atom is composed of protons and neutrons. Usually, most of the atoms contain the same number of protons and neutrons in them. But some atoms have more protons or neutrons. These atoms are mostly unstable atoms and they aren't comfortable keeping those extra protons or neutrons. So they tend to kick the extra protons or neutrons out. Most of them don't do it at once. Atoms like polonium-210, which contains 84 protons and 126 neutrons, emits composite particles consisting of two protons and two neutrons. These composite particles are called alpha particles. After emitting all these extra particles, the unstable atom, polonium-210, becomes a stable element called lead-206. Atoms like carbon-10, which are composed of 6 protons and 4 neutrons, release beta particles. Beta particles are usually fast-moving electrons or a particle called an anti-electron or positron. Atoms like xenon-133 emit gamma rays, which are technically high-energy photons. It is the same photon that makes up visible light. But the thing with gamma-ray photons is that they are about 10,000 times more energetic than those of visible light. This emission of alpha, beta or gamma particles from an atom is called nuclear radiation. And those atoms are called radioactive elements. This nuclear radiation poses a threat to all living beings because these particles have the ability to remove electrons from an atom. When this happens in our body, it could remove electrons from the atoms in our DNA, especially that of our vital organs. This damages our body's cells. High amounts of radiation damage could even result in instant death or cause cancer, etc. Man-made explosions, such as nuclear explosions, release life-threatening amounts of gamma rays. During the Chernobyl accident, the explosion released gamma rays as well as radioactive atoms such as iodine-131, cesium-134 and strontium-90. These atoms contaminated the whole city and the wind even carried the contamination to nearby countries like Sweden, which is 1100 kilometers away from Chernobyl. 
Nuclear radiation is not only caused by man-made explosions, but also occurs in nature. For example, bananas are healthy fruits. They have pretty good nutritional value and are rich in potassium. Usually, the potassium atoms in them contain 19 protons and 20 neutrons. But some of the potassium atoms contain 19 protons and 21 neutrons. These potassium atoms are radioactive. In some cases, these atoms emit beta particles. And in others, they emit gamma ray photons. So, does this mean eating or just being next to a banana is risky? No. The nuclear radiation from a banana is very low. Usually, nuclear radiation is measured in sievert units. The people that died within months of exposure to the radiation at Chernobyl received around 6,000 millisieverts of a radiation dose. The minimum amount for a person to receive a dose of radiation to get sick is about 1,000 millisieverts. Receiving a dose this big results in vomiting, diarrhea, headaches, etc. To die within a week of being irradiated, you need to have received a dose of 10,000 millisieverts. But from a single banana, we only get 0.0001 millisieverts of a radiation dose. But if you take 50 bananas, the radiation from the pile is equivalent to the radiation from a dental x-ray. In order to die of radiation poisoning, you need to have at least 50 million bananas in the same place. In 2020, the worldwide production of bananas was around 120 million tons. If you consider a banana as weighing 100 grams, the world produces around 1 trillion 200 billion bananas every year. If we kept all the bananas produced in the world in the same place, the radiation from that would be 400 times greater than the radiation released from the Chernobyl accident. The lorry full of bananas is radioactive enough to trigger a false alarm on a radiation detector looking for smuggled nuclear weapons. That's why your radiation detector triggered a false alarm near this room. So, this isn't a threat, but it's best to not keep them all in the same place. You understand? <laughs>